What's up everybody? Welcome to a new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to do probably the easiest niche research method that you could do on Redbubble. By far the easiest. And the way I do this, guys, is that I base Redbubble concepts of design off of previous successful designs on other platforms. Now, this is just one method. There are many methods to this. There are many different ways to find niche research. In fact, I think everybody has their own method that they use for themselves and what works for them. So I'll just be sharing what works for me here. And uh, I'll give you guys a step by step click through tutorial. Uh, if you guys want to uh, see more tutorials on this method expanded, and actually see me creating some designs for my own stores behind the scenes, head over to the DIY income YouTube channel, just go ahead and pull it up right now. Uh, so that you guys can go ahead and check it out this YouTube channel here DIY income tutorials, you can literally just search it on YouTube, you'll find it. Um, or you can uh, click the link in the description, it will be in there as well. If you click on this YouTube channel, I'm going to be uh, expounding more on what I'm currently doing in this video. So if that's something you're interested in, go ahead and check out the channel. I'll be uploading that video today, actually. So if you're interested in that, uh, head over. But obviously in this video, I can't make it an hour long, but I'll show you exactly what I'm doing. So on you, you guys know Amazon.com. Let me go ahead and do this. As you guys know, Amazon.com is a place where you can find top selling products. In fact, Amazon.com is the number one marketplace, uh, not just marketplace, but the number one place in the world in terms of sales, money, e-commerce, etc. And for me, it's kind of hard to search for particular concepts of shirts. Like, what do I type in? What do I look for? It's kind of hard to do that. Well, I have a software that can do that for me, and it is called the Merch Archive. This is within Merch Informer. Now, you guys may know Merch Informer. You may not. This is the official website of Merch Informer. Um, they're well known for having a multitude of products all inside one product and that multitude of products one of the products is called the merch archive now the reason why I specifically use the merch archive um, is because I get to see after all the dust has settled and all the tension for the day is over I get to see what sells the most each and every day and you can see here that there are millions of examples and I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about and how I actually use this. Um, and the people who are utilizing the uh, autopilot passive income uh, print on demand course, which I'll just pull up now, the, this course right here, you guys will be able to use what you learned from that course and expand on what I'm teaching today and what I'm showing today. And like I said, I'm just showing my personal uh, experience, my personal, uh, what I personally do. Okay, and this is just one of the methods. There's not, you know, it's not like there's one way to do this. I mean, there's different ways, different softwares. Some people like to do keywords. Some people like to do this. Some people like to do different things. So I'll just show you what I do. So let's just say I'm going to go into the United States niche, right? So the United States. And by the way, I will show you how to do this with other languages as well. But let's just hop into US for now. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll go to the merch archive and I'll select a random date. Let's say I'll pick the fourth, right? And I'll hit search. Okay. Now it's ideally that you do not want any kind of like holidays. When I say holidays, for example, uh, if you guys remember the two here, the Wednesday, the two um, days before this two date, right? Because it was two. 22, uh, excuse me, not two. Um, it was, uh, two, two, 22 days before this date, it, it would kind of skew the results. So you don't want anything that's going to skew the results. You want just natural numbers that natural designs that are going to appear. And you can see here, here we have our first design here that has a thousand seven hundred and ten designs. Okay. Here we have a tiger t-shirt design. V is for video games design. And we can continue here. And what I can actually do is I can go over here. I can scroll all the way down because I do want to have some, you know, uh, points here. I can go to like page five, for example. And what page five has is by the time I get back here, I'm seeing different things that sell. So here teaching the second grade, any one of these two, two, two shirts, I won't sell because in my opinion, this is what I call a trend. The reason why, and I know there's a lot of money behind this trend, but the thing is, is that 
I don't go after, if I'm really focused on, on Redbubble success, I don't focus on trending designs all the time. I'll do trending here and there, but it's generally not my focus. You guys know when I create 60 designs a day, the reason why I don't do niche research all the time, I only have to do niche research for one design. After that, I'm all good, and I've showed I showed how that method works on the in the course. So I'm not even going to talk about that here. But um, the reason why I don't you know engage in designs like this is because it has a shot clock on this. You know, once a certain date, nobody's going to buy these kind of t-shirts ever again, right? Especially at the full price. If they were at a maybe like a a clothing store, like and and on clearance, that would be a completely different story. But for me, if I'm going to create 60 designs and I want to sit down and focus, I want to know that those designs are going to sell into the future. So I'm looking for evergreen type stuff here. So something like this I would not do as well. Uh, Barbie, that could be trademarked. I don't want to lose my account. I don't want something bad to happen to my account. So I wouldn't do something like this either. Um, so I have to pick wisely about the different ideas of shirts that I can create. So here, here's an idea, Year of the Tiger. This year of the Tiger shirt gets 49 sales, okay? So what I could do is I can expound on this idea. Okay, I have an idea, year of the Tiger, this one t-shirt, and I'm just going to click on the link here. So I'm going to click show or uh, description, show. I want to actually click on the link because I want to get the image. I, want, I don't want to, um, uh, let me go ahead and, and copy the link address and just go over here into an incognito tab. And I want to just put it to the side for a minute, okay? Because I want to see, okay, what characteristics makes this shirt so special. But I'll look at it in just a minute. So now I have that put to the side. Now what I'll do is I'll go over here into my product search. There's a button that says product search. Here. This is very important because this is a two-step process. And we search year of the tiger or something similar to that, right? It doesn't have to be word for word the original design that you selected. It has to be something similar, right? Any kind of related keywords will help pop up. And mind you, we're searching now on the biggest marketplace in the world, which is Amazon, right? So merch by Amazon. We're going to wait to see the results come up. Now let's go ahead and take a look here. Here, this shirt gets 24 sales and notice this design, right? So I'll copy this link address and I'll go over here to my incognito tab. And I'll go ahead and paste this, all right? And I'll do the same just for random ones. These are typically the same. You know, one gets 24 sales, one gets 16. The only difference is the background color. I'll just leave that the way it is for now. Uh, I'll click on this one, and I'll just see how many sales. This one gets 15 sales. Uh, so I'll go over here, and I'll say copy link address, and I'll go over here. And I only get about, like, five different samples. So, so far we have three. And I'll get this one. Let's say this one, this one here, estimated as one sale. So I'll click on this, copy link address, and I'll go over here. Now, whether the design gets one sale or whether the design gets 50 sales, I know that the concept works. And that's the concept here. That's the idea. I know that the idea works. So I'm going to go ahead and take this and copy link address as well. Now, notice I'm not posting these designs on, on Merch by Amazon. I'm going to go over to Redbubble and do this. Now, some may argue, oh, yeah, the year of the tiger is is uh, already... Um, it's already, uh, you know, saturated. And I might argue the same thing with you, but here's the thing. So let's go ahead and type this in. Year of the Tiger. Okay, let's just pick this out. And let's sort here for, let's uh, not include out of stock. Obviously, condition is new. And that will help us kind of filter through here. We need condition is new. We're going to select up to $25. We don't want anything else getting in the way. Um, in terms of that, we're going to go with our, uh, where is Prime here? Can we select Prime? I know we can select it here somewhere. Where is it? Where is the Amazon Prime selection? Do I have to be logged in for the Amazon Prime? Free shipping by Amazon, all customer delivery day, get it by tomorrow. Okay, let's unclick that because that, you know, Amazon Prime takes longer than that. Free shipping by Amazon. Okay, so here we have a bunch of t-shirt designs. It doesn't matter what design gets the most sales. We just need a concept here. We just need an idea, right? And so we have different ideas here and we could see that and of course not every single result is going to you know be related to merch but if you look here there are over 2,000 results 2,000 results and we just have 48 here so what do I know is that for Amazon if there are 2,000 results if my design is on page two it's hard to it's hard to get a sale 
Like it's it's not going to be as easy as people make it out to be. So what do I make, what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to go on Redbubble and I'm going to search the exact same thing. Let's go over here in Redbubble and search for Year of the Tiger. Now, I'm going to tell you guys that this specific keyword is not a keyword, like I said, that is fully uh, evergreen. So this is not a good keyword to use, but I'm just using this as an example. Typically, guys, when we see a trendy keyword like Year of the Tiger, because it is 2022, it is the Year of the Tiger. Once this year's over, there's going to be a new year, Year of the whatever, right? It could be the ox, it could be the pig, it could be, you know, whatever animal it is. So this is not evergreen. So the likelihood of this keyword uh, being blown out of proportion is high. It's a high likelihood. However, when you do this with other organic keywords, it typically won't be the case. Uh, and when I say organic, I really, what I meant to say is evergreen. That's what I mean. Uh, not organic, sorry. That was misuse of words. But if we look here, there's over 16,000 designs. Now, this is just to prove the concept that, and I've shown this with Redbubble before, but there are certain ways that when you click on a certain design, you can, as a designer, as a seller, and I've shown this in the tagging course, how you can manipulate your way to be shown here in the similar design section. I've shown this before. Um, I don't know. I, you know, I, I have shown it. So I, I don't want to say any more than that. But with those skills, I take that into consideration. I go for this shot here. The reality is, is if I use the right keywords, even if I use the right keywords, with a design of 16,000 results, it's hard to show up on the first page. Now, it's easy to show up on the first page if there are 4,000 results, 3,000, 5,000, maybe even 7,000 right? If I use the right keywords, but it's hard to show up on the first page with 16,000 results. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to focus on, okay, I'm going to shoot my shot by trying to get as close to these designs as possible. And when I say as close to, I mean in the similar section. And the idea is I make my design slightly different or better than the competition so that once I'm down here in the similar section, I get purchased. Notice, guys, if you look here at this design, isn't this design similar to this design or similar to this similar to this that's because other people are using this exact strategy and it's once again things that are not talked about and so what i'm trying to say here is that this is not just this creator because this obvious this creator is the same guy right and he knows what he's doing but like i said this keyword is not optimal the 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 new the year of the tiger we can do this again with another keyword and i'll just do this live so once again just to reiterate let's go ahead and head over to the merch archive button okay and let's go into let's say let's pick up january 20th let's just go ahead and see what pop shows up okay so for january 20th we have yellowstone Dutton ranch okay uh, 315 sales. Let's just go and scroll down just a little bit just to make sure. Um, let's go, Brandon. I wouldn't recommend. Uh, 100 day of school. Wouldn't recommend. It's not evergreen. Well, it is evergreen, but you, it's a very, very... Because obviously there's always going to be a 100th day of school every year. There's going to be a new one. I wouldn't go for it, though. I, I don't recommend. Um, let's see what this one says. Strike first, strike hard, no mercy. Cobra Kai, definitely not doing that. Um, okay, Yellowstone. What does this say? Eagle Fang Karate. No, probably not. Uh, we're looking, like I said, we're looking for things that we can recreate or or kind of create. And there's going to and you and you have to be able to discern, guys. It's not like you want to pick every single design and redo it. No, you're gonna have to discern. Like this anime one. I know that anime is completely completely abused on redbubble just way too much content on redbubble with anime so i'm not even going to touch this right i need to look for things that would make me more successful so here it says legendary since 1972 the main keyword here is 1972 right so if i click on this design legend since 1972 if i just go over here to the you know the uh product search let's just go ahead and do this Let's go ahead and do this. 1972. And I type in 1972 here. Let's see what comes up. And like I said, this is not, uh, you know, we don't know what's going to happen here. But we're testing different keywords. And this is kind of, this is where I'm telling you guys. And then you take this data, guys. And once you pick that thing, you go hard using what you learned in the POD design course to create 60 designs in a half hour the same way I showed. Right? So it says here something went wrong. So let's just see what comes up here for 1972. Here, I want to just try this one more time. It might be too short tail. 
Let's just see one more time what comes up. Because, you know, it, it might have an issue, and then we have to pick a different keyword, which is perfectly fine, but um, let's just give it a second. It's probably going to say the same error, error uh, notification. Okay, something went wrong. So what I'll do is I'll just pick, let's say, uh, let's just pick up the word shirt. Let's see if that affects it without filtering anything here. And it could, yes, it could be another error. Um, and like I said, you guys are seeing how this has worked behind the scenes. Uh, so let's go here. And once again, 1972 is not evergreen, but you can change this up with the years. So I could do 1973, 1976, 1979, etc. Okay, so that doesn't work either. So let's just say three shirts for women. Let's just hope this comes up. If it doesn't come up, I'll just go for a different keyword. I mean, this is normal stuff. Every designer goes through this. Okay, here we go. So, 1972 shirts for women. Now, mind you, I'm going after the concept here. I'm not really going after the keyword because 1972 is pretty much over, right? The 50th birthday, etc. I mean, after this year, what, what else is there? So, we're going to have to go for 1973, 1974, etc. But, anyways, we have all these designs. So, now we have proof of concept, right? We have a proof of concept. There, there are other people. The competition score is an A here. They provide us with a competition score. So now what I'll do is, I'll, like I said, I'll just copy this link address and I'll go ahead and see it in better fashion. So we have this one here, okay? And what I'll do is, I'll even, I can click on these two as well, but I just want to go back to the, uh, the uh, product search on merch here. And I want to click on this one, open link in new tab or excuse me, uh, copy link is what I want to actually do. And by the way, guys, if you want a discount on this software, uh, you could use my code autopilot passive income. Yeah, it's tw you're going to get 20% off, which is a huge fraction of the cost. Now, if we just let me just go here and check out the cost here for you guys. Um, the pricing and mind you, we're using the merch archive and we're using the product search. So here, product tracking, all that, all that is involved here for the $9.99 price. And you can go ahead and start a free trial. So click the link in the description, get a free trial, and do this, guys. Do this right now. And uh, use code autopilot passive income, and you're going to get 20% off, right? Um, but anyways, so we have a few of these designs here. Legends were born in February 1972. We have vintage 1972 here, right? And we have uh, 1972, whatever, okay? I can go over here now to Redbubble. Let's just pull up Redbubble. And I can search for 1972. Now, what's going to happen is, like I said, and this is another example, is that this is going to be somewhat saturated. Why? Because people probably know about this year 1972 already. But when I search for it, right, 18,000 designs. Well, what about if I search for 1973? Check this out. 16,000 designs. But look at the the designs. Are they all related to 1973? Like like uh, vintage 1973? The answer is no. Maybe about quarter, not even quarter, maybe one eighth. So really, all of these extra designs here, like this, this you know, Pink Floyd or Alpine or any of these kind of stuff, they're, they're going to be washed out by the next year. They're going to be, you know, remo not removed, but they're going to be washed out, out through competition. Like, for example, this t-shirt here. This is about cars. This has nothing to do with 1973. This has nothing to do with 1973, Life on Mars. This has nothing to do uh, with, well, it says 1973 here, but it's not what we're looking for in, in terms of the concept. Like this one, 1973, 1973. We could even do the same for 1974, right? And what's going to come up is a lot of designs that have nothing to do with the actual year. Like this Kool-Aid, 1974, has nothing to do with it. Yes, it says 1974 cartoons, etc., but the main keyword around the year is going to be what? It's going to be those uh, like vintage style, born in 1972, made in 1972. So what do we do? We create a whole bunch of designs around these concepts. We've done the knee search, knee search once using the different tools. Now, I've shown in the course that you don't need to use tools like this. They just are a huge benefit. They're a huge benefit. And like I said, this is one of the ways I do this. So if you're interested, and this is, like I said, just one of the different ways. There are many different ways to do this. Um, and go out there and create designs and get yourself some sales. If you want to do this, click the link in the description. Uh, it, it, it will be in the comments. How about that? Go to the comments section. Click the first link. 
um, and use the code Autopilot Passive Income. You'll get access to the software free trial. You can go ahead and try it yourself. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoy. Peace out. Bye.